We are Robotics for Space Exploration and we're back to compete at the URC for the fourth time with greater goals, ambitions and the support of new partners, sponsors and an extremely talented and passionate team of more than 40 students from a diverse set of backgrounds. This year, we're pulling together all our experience from competing at the URC for the past three years and putting it towards developing our 2017 rover named Phoenix. We've put a newfound emphasis on robustness, reliability, safety and testing to make sure that the hard work we put into designing our rover translates into success at the competition. Till date, we have a completely functional rover with fully integrated mechanical, electrical and software systems that have been rigorously tested and will be described further in this video. Our mechanical systems last year were largely successful, and this year we've opted to iterate on those designs to manufacture a rover that is more compact, robust and lightweight. A rocker bogey suspension system made using milled 2D aluminum profiles allows us to maximize traction by maintaining contact with the ground at all times. Our modular chassis is made of lightweight aluminum extrusions and a two-level interior design which allows effective organization of our electrical systems. We've also manufactured a custom battery bay using a laser cutter to house seven 4-cell lithium polymer batteries capable of powering the rover for more than an hour at a time. The battery bay can also easily be pulled out of the rover in the case of an emergency. We've dramatically improved the design and manufacturing techniques of our wheels. The wheel test bed that we used last year has been upgraded to allow us to test our wheels for longer durations in order to quantify their robustness and long-term performance. Our current wheels are made using expanding polyurethane, poured into custom-made steel molds. These wheels are lightweight, strong, and provide maximum traction by conforming to the terrain. Our completely overhauled robotic arm has 6 degrees of freedom that are actuated with stepper motors, easily capable of lifting 10 kilograms. We've developed a complete inverse kinematics model of the arm, allowing the arm to be controlled using a novel 6 degree of freedom joystick. The arm can completely fold up onto itself, improving the rover's stability while driving, and its rotating base allows us to reach over the top of the rover to store retrieved objects for astronaut assistance or soil samples for the science task. Our end effector has a novel cable actuated design which allows a powerful gripping actuator to be placed on the chassis, reducing the weight of the arm. The electrical system is perhaps the system we've overhauled the most since last year. This year we've designed our entire electrical system using EagleCAD software and have professionally manufactured them on printed circuit boards. We have been in close collaboration with our sponsors at Fisher Connectors and Molex who have provided us with durable plug and play connectors to allow our electronics to be more robust and easy to work with. Our brand new power distribution system has been completely redesigned with an immense emphasis on safety. An integrated rover status monitoring system can monitor current draw and temperature in real time. Electronic relays in the system can automatically turn off power to any actuator in the case of actuator failure or stalling. We've also developed separate PCBs for the drive, arm, and science systems, each with their own microcontrollers that can communicate to a server running on a central onboard computer. This approach has allowed us to develop these boards in parallel, allowing more time for manufacturing, testing and improving our designs. The software system this year is focused on ease of interface between different systems. Unlike before, we're using a web stack, mainly Node.js with Express on the backend, so that subsystems can be connected in any language that handles HTTP, eliminating compatibility issues and allowing us to use the best tools and third-party software. Our brand new ground station interface has a beautiful and interactive front end that can be run in a browser on multiple devices simultaneously to display rover status, monitor position, and collect sensor data. Communication with the rover is handled by a 2.4 GHz wireless connection with 440 MHz as a backup for telemetry. We're using a high gain directional antenna on the ground station that can autonomously track the rover based on its GPS coordinates, giving us a range of up to 20 km line of sight while staying within the regulatory limits. In the case of a communication failure, however, the rover will return to its last point of contact with the ground station. Our new autonomous systems have been developed and tested on a small-scale version of our rover. Our current approach is simple and robust. The main waypoint following thread is interrupted whenever a large obstacle is detected. For waypoint following, we're currently just using GPS coordinates, but are investigating more sophisticated control algorithms such as model predictive control and sensor fusion for more accurate localization. For obstacle detection, we've experimented with using an in-house actuated laser rangefinder, but have since upgraded to a 360-degree LiDAR provided by our sponsors at SCANS. With the other systems fully functional, the software team will now focus on integrating the autonomous system with the full-sized rover over the next few weeks. For the science task, we're going to be reusing our successful auger drill mechanism to retrieve soil samples from a sufficient depth. Our on-site analysis will include a variety of gas, temperature, moisture, and pH sensors, along with a digital microscope. Our off-site analysis techniques will include microscopy to identify signs of lichen, along with a custom DIY spectrometer that we will use to look for signs of chlorophyll. With access to facilities like the Mars Dome here at the University of Toronto, our team will now focus on testing, testing, and more testing. We'll assign individual task specialists to improve our task efficiencies and iron out any robustness issues that we may face at the competition. We're really excited about Phoenix and can't wait to compete at the URC 2017.